So I know I already posted a video tonight, um, but I'm in here in my bedroom and I was just thinking back on something that Jim Skelton had put out on Instagram. Um, and I just kind of had forgotten about it. I even had commented on um, one of the things that he had said. And it was about Instagram. And then I realized that my Facebook is kind of doing it to me too. And it, it makes sense because they own each other. Uh, Instagram is owned by Facebook. Um, but what it is is I have a business page on Instagram and I have a business page on YouTube and on Facebook. I'm sorry, Facebook and Instagram. And so I had built my my business page and then I see Jim Skelton mention something about the fact after I after he had said it, it, it really hit home. Um, now if you put hashtags, if you tag your, your posts on Instagram, it doesn't matter how many other post there are of that your post is only going to be seen by the people that subscribe to you so it doesn't make any sense to tell you it doesn't matter if you do knives as your tag and there's six million posts the only people that are going to see that are the people that subscribe to you so i had noticed that i was not getting as many hits on my instagram stuff and then jim put that out there but the other one was my Instagram page and my and now I have a, a crazy sharp YouTube page have the option that you can promote certain things. And so we're going to talk about that here in a second. I'm going to put up a picture of it. I I boosted. It's called boosting where you basically you can throw it out there like an ad and it's going to go to a bunch of different people. And you have to pay for it. It's not free. It's like 5 bucks to get it out in a certain area my beard is still i just got out of the shower um so i'm gonna post a picture of the response i got when i tried to boost something so hang on just a second and i'll get that put up so the funny thing about that is what you just saw the response that i got that said that i couldn't boost that because it's promoting sales of weapons and knives and things like that this is what the post was So as you guys can see, I was not putting up a picture of a knife. I was putting up a picture of some scales that I had anodized blue. On the left is the raw titanium. I had just stripped them um, in multi-etch, taken all of the old anodizing off and redone them blue. Now those might be parts of a knife, but they're definitely not a knife. So my question is, why would they have let me build a business page knowing that I make and sharpen and repair knives? Why would they have allowed me to do a business page and then restrict my ability to use my business page by preventing me from doing that? And it's, it happened on my YouTube, or not my YouTube, but my Instagram channel. It happened on my Facebook page that I made for my business. And on top of that, fellow YouTube watchers and viewers if you turn restricted mode on none of my videos will play all of my videos are restricted on youtube so here's the thing youtube and facebook and instagram say that they're a platform for small business and things like that and they want to promote themselves to allow you the opportunity to build your business through social media but the truth is they only want to do it to businesses that they approve of so not trying to piss anybody on Facebook off, not trying to piss off Instagram. I definitely not trying to piss off YouTube because that's where I get most of my business. But to eliminate the ability to be grouped in with the hashtags just because you don't have a subscriber is ridiculous. Um, continuing to ask me if I want to boost an ad to try and raise more revenue and continue to every time. Oh, spend $7 and we can get you in front of 2,100 more viewers. And even when I tried to post something that was not a knife, was strictly a service that I offer by anodizing titanium, by running electricity through a reactive metal and causing an oxide layer to form that then reflects a specific color, they wouldn't let me post that. They wouldn't let me boost it. 
And so they're hamstringing certain businesses, some small businesses, badly. Um, Jim's go on Instagram, find Jim Skelton, um, did a post about it. And then I, I, I in turn returned back and I said, yeah, it's ridiculous. And then mentioned exactly what I'm talking about. So it's just frustrating. Um, everybody says use social media to build your business, build your brand. And when you try, they kick you in the dick, but it is what it is. So, all right, guys, second video for the day. I just wanted to, to throw this out because I had tried to do another venue and got the same result um, within five minutes. My attempt to place an ad, boost an ad, um, basically came back tonight. So me building that business page on Facebook basically has done me no good. It was worthless. Uh, I haven't even been posting anything to it because to tell you the truth, if I post it to my Facebook where I have thousands of followers, you know, friends on Facebook and post pictures on Instagram where I have a couple, almost a couple hundred. And then here on YouTube where I've got, oh, going up on 650, I, you know, I'm hitting a much broader audience just using my Instagram. But the problem is if they're not allowing to use the hashtags and be seen by other people, only the people that subscribe to you, I'm not going to get any new subscribers on Instagram. So I'm hoping they're not going to do the same thing with the tags on YouTube because that would drastically reduce my ability to get in front of people, which is what this channel is about is getting in front of people and getting people that agree with my opinions. And maybe to, if I like, I, I make mistakes, I've been corrected and kind of to come back and say things. Um, I noticed in a video, I was reviewing a video of mine, my daughter and I were watching it. And I said that my, um, Archbishop was uh, S90V. It's not. It's 20CV. I make mistakes. And I intend, I, I, I would hope that you guys, as my followers, would call me out if I make a mistake. So, anyway, yeah, I know this was just a little ramble and rant. I was just kind of upset. It just pisses me off that the avenues that are provided to us, that they say are provided to us to help build our small businesses um, by using social media. They tell us that in the insurance uh, industry, too. Use your social media. Build your client base through social media. Use LinkedIn. Use Facebook. It just doesn't seem like it's doesn't seem like it's going to be worth it to try and work with people that just don't want to help small business when it comes down to it. So, all right, guys, it's bedtime. I'll talk to you guys later. See you next time.